All right, here's our lesson plan for the day. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. Maybe not. Zoom? Nope, that's not zoom. Oh, I see it. Okay. So, going over textbook pages 34 through 35, then looking at workbook exercise 18. Um, you can do this with your parents, or I've just created a video um, going over this. You can do review sheets from handouts or spend extra time on Moby Max to get your review in. Okay, um, continue to memorize Newton's three laws of motion. Go over those until um, you've got them memorized completely. FLL lesson 65 quotations. Funny, put them in quotations. Um, you'll go over those today. Lesson 8, read pages 86 through 89 and complete Tell It Back. That starts on page 89 and it ends on page 90. Um, I might create a video reading this to you. Okay, take quiz on list Q3. There are no review words and um, I gave a challenge word if you use the video version of, of um, this. If not, you your parent can give you a challenge word. Remember, half point for any rules. And um, there's you can only have one rule per word that counts towards that. Then you can start your Q4 dictation. Go over the Bronze Bow Chapter 5 vocabulary and then read the Bronze Bow Chapter 5. And then read Chapter 12, Battle, Fire, and Plague in England. I didn't realize I kept work on wax museum characters. This is um, something I don't know what to do about. Um, of course, the Bard Cafe is in April. There's still some confusion whether that's going to happen or not. Um, if it does happen, we, the fourth graders, will each be a person from history, so a a wax museum character and what will happen is um, you'll dress up like that character you'll write a little um, script no longer than like you know probably a minute and that's probably on the long side um, you know just about a paragraph about that character's life so let's say you're Queen Mary the first or Bloody Mary You'd say, hello, my name is Mary Tudor, and my father was King Henry VIII. My mother was Catherine of Aragon. My, she met a sad end and died when I was however many years old. That kind of thing. And you'll go on and on. Um, and people will come up and you'll tell them the spiel about your character at the Wax Museum. The only problem is I don't know if this is going to happen. Um, so I have work on wax museum characters. Um, I'm really not sure if that's a good use of your time right now, um, just because there's so much uncertainty. What I would say that maybe you should do is be thinking about who you would like to be from history. So think about characters you've learned from this year, like uh, Christopher Columbus, William Shakespeare, um, uh, for girls, we've got, or, yeah, for girls, you could think about Queen Mary the first, Queen Elizabeth the first, um, trying to think of some others, I'm drawing a blank. You could also do, um, Galileo, William Shakespeare, King Henry the eighth, for boys, um, so just, be thinking about who we've talked about in history. And and even if you know another person in history that maybe we haven't touched on this year, that's fine. Um, so just maybe work on today thinking who you would like to be. And um, maybe just tell your parent to email me. Hopefully we don't have anyone who wants the same thing, though I'm sure we will. Um, I'll just decide that. And if I get the 
go ahead on um, on the Bard Cafe. I'll email out um, a list of which student is which character from history. Um, so yeah, let's just let's just do that for now. Um, so that's today in history. Tomorrow, this is estimating the sums of decimals. So looking at a at an addition problem, and then kind of guessing not guessing, estimating what the answer will closely be to so that when you actually do the problem you can check and make sure it makes sense to your estimation. Um, I'll probably post a little video on that. Continue memorizing Newton's three laws of motion and then read about momentum in Kingfisher. Okay, this is a really funny poem, The Height of the Ridiculous. It's really silly and if you don't understand it the first time you read it, that's okay. Um, have a parent read it with you, and, and it's really quite silly. Um, I really like this poem. So you can start to memorize that. Um, lesson 8, complete, go deeper, pages 91 through 94. Finish your dictation. Um, I have a video on this, so if you want to just use that, that's fine. If not, if you want to do it with your parent, that's fine too look at all the rules, and then read chapter 6 of the bronze bow after you read the vocabulary. Here you can either do an activity from your workbook and write four to five sentences about what you learned, or you could summarize the chapter even, you could just write a summary. Or you can read a history book that you have at home and do a diving deeper worksheet. Um, that you can do with any history book. Um, it doesn't really have to be on the topic. I, ideally it would be, but given our circumstances, that's fine. I put this video about the Black Death, so what we're reading about. It's interesting, I think, um, but I do want to remind you, especially right now, um, that it's not like what's happening right now. Back then they didn't have medicine, they didn't even know how disease spread, so they couldn't do anything to even try to stop it. And the, so, and the plague was a lot more deadly than what we're dealing with right now. Um, so there's no need to see this and worry about what's happening right now. Right now this is just a, something that, um, very few people actually suffer really badly with. Um, it's just we have to do our part to take care of those who would suffer. So older people or people with um, other health issues. So even though we're all taking precautions and some people seem to be worried, we're really just trying to take care of those people who, who need us to take care of them and need us to stay healthy so that they can stay healthy. It's nothing like the plague where there were there people didn't take showers for who knows how long and there was no medicine and doctors had no idea what was going on. So it's not the same situation at all. But um, yeah, and praise the Lord for that. It would not be fun to live through the plague. But humans made it out of that. So um, I will make it out of this for sure. So that's Tuesday and Monday. And I miss you guys, and I'm praying for you and your families. In fact, let's just pray right now. Um, Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for each of these families. Thank you for these students. I just pray that as they're at home, God, um, they're resting and um, that they're getting to learn about you from their parents, um, Father, and that they would just see you more and more clearly. Um, God, I just pray that you would keep their families healthy and safe during this time and that there wouldn't be any fear or confusion, God, but that we would trust you and that we know you're in control of all things. This doesn't surprise you what's happening and that um, one day you've promised us, God, a new earth without pain and suffering, without disease, God, without death. 
and you've already defeated death in Christ. So God, thank you for those promises. Thank you for those good things and help us to cling to those in this time. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, have a happy Monday.